Hi Bruce from Safari and uh, this is a video with a bit of a difference today. Just have a look if you haven't been to Queensland lately uh, post COVID, just have a look at this beautiful beach. We're just in suburban uh, Coomera here. Let's have a look. And this is the beautiful sandy beach in uh, Coomera waters which is where we live. Just stunning eh? Now we're here today not to look at that. We're going to look at this um, box that we've got on the beach here. Morning Tom, how are you? Great thanks Bruce. Right, we're going to do the demo. Let's turn the single induction on. This is the Safari single induction and it's now got a slide control on it. Let's just have a look. Yep, we're drawing 1866 watts. Right, oh, Tom, coffee machine please, so we can have coffee with this. Right, espresso's turned on. Yep, we're up to 3,100 or 2,600 watts. We're making the coffee and this is on the boil. So you'll see this will boil in night time. Uh, the pot here is for the crabs, and we're going to have crabs and coffee this morning. So uh, let's just see how we go. Now the coffee machine's pumping away. You can see we're at 3174. But no alarms. We've got it in this box here. It's not overheating because we've got fans, integrated fans in the back. So we're now boiling away here. This is just a few minutes. And just have a look at this display. See the word here? No alarms, right? No alarms at all. And what we're discharging at, and we did all this with the battery on half charge just to really prove it. You can see the induction up here at the battery is 1850 to 2100. Um, and here's the coffee made. Let's enjoy this. Now we've opened the kimono, let's have a look inside. And there's the 3000 watt inverter charger. We've got 400 amp hours of lithium. And then at the bottom here, we've got that'll do a thousand watts of solar. We've got our turbo, we've got a 48 to 12 there running. But part of our secret is this little box in here. We've got a GPS on it and an antenna, and this is all totally visible online. No matter where you are in Australia on the internet, you can see where this box is. If someone picks this box up and moves this box from your camp into the next camp, you can go and knock on their door and say, excuse me, I've just found my uh, power pack is sitting in your uh, campsite. And you can geofence it so that if it moves, you'll get an alarm. So in the video we've been running, we're using our portable solar panel here. And it's just sitting in the sand, weighs eight kilos. It can sit straight in the sand. No sand gets caught up in it. And uh, so right now it's, uh, yeah, just after nine in the morning and we're getting 153 watts of solar in. This will peak somewhere around 200. Uh, let's just have a look. So we're at down here, 153 right now off that single. I don't have it perfectly aligned there, but it's not bad. And that's charging this. Now there's one other charging source in here. What we have coming in here on the side are these two Amphenol connectors. So let me just pull one out. There it is there. And there's the positive. And these are coming from the alternator. And inside this case, we'll put our Killer Wasp. And this will pull 80 amps out of an alternator. So that's perfect for nearly every vehicle um, running in Australia. And that goes to the chassis ground. So you just unplug these, pull the case out, put it on the beach as we've got here now. And we're all good to go. Now a little attention to detail on the inlet and the outlet here that Tom's done. Have a look at the inlet here. We've got it flush. It's one that we get specially made. And if we have a look inside here, it's IP44, which is good for the sand. And there's our outlet, IP54, 10 amp that we've got. So that's power in over there, power out here. And then on the side here, we've got dual uh, USBs and a type C. And the dual USB one, we can turn on and off just by touching it. And this is the type C. Dual Anderson plugs here. This has got our solar coming in. This is going out to fridge and LED lights that we've got here. Now with this complete pack that we've got here, 400 amp hours, 3000 watt inverter, this will run you for a weekend. It depends how much you run the induction and the coffee machine, of course. But uh, without those, you'll actually go for a long weekend on the typical fridge LED lights. Add that in, you'll probably do the weekend. Um, put the solar out as well. And uh, this will actually be able to be taken straight out of the truck and put into the uh, camp, into the tent. Now, one thing we do is you're seeing in the top uh, left there, the tremor where we added the uh, swing cases on either side. And uh, we sell these from Swing Case Australia. They get incorporated in. And then this display and the outlets here can actually be put into the swing case if you wish. And so when that occurs, uh, then you've got the 240 volt access and the display access all the way at the back of the uh, tub. Uh, this setup is perfect for the new uh, Jeep Gladiator. Uh, this will just sit into the back. You can use these handles to strap it down. 
and just take it out, put it on the beach, coffee machine. I'd put uh, Bluetooth sound in here and uh, that Bluetooth sound will just run all, all the time off these USBs here or off the 240 outlet and uh, you can have yourself quite a, quite a beach party and that's what we're about to do now. A quick look at what we can see on the smartphone and uh, by the way, these are all the 48 volt jobs that we've done. We're up to unit number 100, I think. So uh, let's just stop and have a look at the unit that we're looking at here. And what you can see here when we pick it up here, it's online, it's all coming from the case and you can now see the location of where we are. You can see the solar coming in. Let's have a look at a bit more detail on the location. So let's just zoom into the location. We can just use our fingers to go in. And now I've turned the phone sideways so you can really see the detail of where we are. You see it's down to about two or three metres. A gold support package, we can reconfigure, update the firmware. We give everyone full support 24-7. Now, how good's that?